hi all so today we are going to see how to use expression rules to validate our values in our interface so for that let's try to create a simple interface so we will name it user info we'll click on create okay so yeah now our interface is here we will select a basic form from here one column form and uh, we don't need this section layout so delete it and in here we will use on integer field okay to enter is and we use another text field uh, to enter phone number now let's go to expression mode let's edit our changes there so we will we will label the UI as user information and we will use here age and here we will write phone number so we can see the results here as well now uh, to store the age and phone number uh, here we are going to we can either use rule inputs or local variables as well so let's try to use local variables so to use local variables we will envelop this form layout into local variable so a bank local variables and now we'll close this so first local variable is for age we will write local bank age and then another is for local bank phone number local bank phone number and the age will get stored in value will be local local bank age and the save into parameter will be local bank is only similarly for phone number the value is local bank phone number and the save into parameter is as well local bank phone number now in this form what we want the age of the user or the whoever is submitting this form should be greater than 25 and it should be less than 50 so to how to validate that so if I enter anything as 26 it will take that and we can use that validations here as well uh, we can manually write it but that will just increase the number of lines in our UI or we can also use an expression rule to validate use in this validations so expression rule will be a bit easier and we will try to create a uh, well we will try to validate the age with the help of expression rule so we'll go back to our designer and here we will write expression rule and here we will give the expression rule name as validate age now let's try to create this so this is our uh, expression rule interface and now we will have one input so what input we are giving in our UI we are giving age so we will write here age and it will be of type number okay and now here what we will do if we will start writing conditions if so what we actually want if the age is less than 25 so if so we will write here if rule input age is less than 25 then we will print a message to the user that uh, you are not applicable applicable okay and if it is this if uh, so how if works so first if it works as condition if we give the keyword we can write condition so this is our condition and value if true so we can see in the down panel as well so this is the value if true parameter so value if true and this is the same but it is value with false 
value if false so if it is false then we don't want to print anything so let's try to check our expression rule so if it is less than 25 I have given 23 and so it will print a message you are not applicable but if I give something as 25 then it will uh, not give any validation if I print 26 as well then it won't give but we want is it the age should be less uh, should also be less than 50 years it should not be more than 50 so in the value if false what we will again we will use another if condition we will write if rule input is is less than 50 then or uh, first of all let's write if it is greater than 50 then we will print is you you have uh, exceeded the age limit okay and if it is not true then we will give it like this so here as well we can write the same thing uh, arguments over we can write condition so this is our condition and this is our value if true and this is our value if false so it is very easy to understand now so let's try to give age limit as 50 and we will try to test our rule it won't print anything but if I give 51 then it will print you have exceeded the age limit uh, okay let's try to save our changes and we will go back to our interface and here in the age column only directly we will call the rule so rule bang of ys underscore validate age so if I use this so here in the UI we are getting one error like a rule bang validate age has one parameters but instead zero parameters passed what is this parameter so this parameter is the age that we are passing so how in the interface we will get this parameter so if you see we are storing the age in local bank age so here if I give something as age so it is be always better to give the arguments here so age age will be what here local bank age okay so now let's try to test it if I give 23 then you are not applicable it is writing and if I give 54 years then also it is saying you have exceeded the age limit so this was the <coughs> rule for the uh, what you say user information similarly we can validate any values uh, like phone number in the UI itself so for example if for phone number I have to validate I can write like phone number is of 10 numbers so I will write if if len of so length is a function which uh, which returns the number of characters in the text so if length of local bank phone number is equal to 10 then we don't want to return anything but if it is not then we will write just invalid phone number so then we can return invalid phone number so if I give uh, like uh, this so it will give me in but if I give a so if I give something like this then it won't uh, return now in the expression rule itself let's try to uh, let's try to enhance our expression rule here it is saying you have exceeded age limit but how, but how many years we have exceeded the age limit we want the users to see that information as well how we can give it so let's go back to our expression rule and here we are saying value if true if rule input age is less than 25 then it is saying you are not applicable uh, okay you are not applicable and we want to see that we want to say please try after so after how many years he should actually try so if I give something like a 22 here it will give me please try after so what the age limit is 25 so he should try after three years how to get that three years value so here we will use and and here we will use please try after 25 we will minus rule input age and then again we will give uh, here year 
and in bracket we will write years as well okay so now let's try to test again so please try after three years so if I give something like 20 then you can see it is five years similarly for the age limit we can see uh, if user has exceeded age limit by how many years they have exceeded the age limit if we want that uh, to be displayed so here we can see uh, you have exceeded the age limit by how many years so after that we will give and and we will 50 minus rule input age and then again we will write here year or years in bracket so let's try to test it by minus four years uh, okay this should be reverse condition or rule input age minus 50 so now let's try to test by four years now so this is the advantage of expression rule. if we and same, same expression rule we can use in a number of conditions so again if I try to uh, put 55 then let's see now automatically the new condition is uh, uh, new condition is uh, updated here so you can see here uh, full stop is not there so we can write the full stop as well here and here as well and we will try to save the changes and the same changes can be reflected here as well so in this way like when you are uh, deploying your interface you don't have to deploy the uh, whole uh, you don't have to deploy the interface as well you just have to deploy the expression rule and it will automatically get reflected in the UI but if we put any validations condition here then one problem arises that we have to uh, we have to like deploy the to the higher environment the whole UI we have to deploy at once and maybe some other developers are working in it and you might not want to carry the changes to uh, higher environments of other developers so in this way it will be very useful to use expression rules so that